All right, today we're going to be working on a crate acoustic 250D. It's one of these uh, guitar type and different inputs amplifier. And this one's not turning on. See, it doesn't turn on. And uh, we're going to show you guys what's the problem with these uh, these crate acoustic. Um, it's a pretty nice unit. It has four four speakers in it pretty loud 250 watt RMS okay um, first there, there's these uh, screws there's four of them on top two on the left and two on the right and then there's uh, two on the side one on, one on each side and, and you know you, you just remove these screws I already you know have them removed so that way we don't waste time but you remove these these screws and um, that lets you let you slide, you know, slide this uh, the whole thing out. So you just slide this all out here. You gotta be real careful, cause speakers are the speaker wires are connected under here. And you don't want to break them. You don't want to break these speaker wires, but you just you'll have enough room to just slide it out. So about right there you can get to the you can get to it and uh so, so here's the power supply here's the power supply you can see your power transformer here and this is your power supply here this is the whole power supply and there's a screw right there a screw right there you're gonna have to get yourself a a Phillips screwdriver and just you know, get that screw out there. And I'll just pull that out. I already got them pretty loose already. And uh, there's a washer on that screw. You just take it out. And then it has these three little tabs. One, and there's another one here. There's another one here, way up in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, right there. It says one. There's one tab right there. There's another tab way over here. There's another tab on this corner right over here. I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if the camera will get it right there. But um, they're basically like this tab here. You just push in the sides, these little tabs, you push them in, and, and, and then this whole uh, thing will pop up. So uh, um, you got these uh, these different uh, wire wires, you just you just pull them out. You know, they they can be a little stubborn sometimes, they're real easy to come out. You just, just take them out and put them aside remember where they came from so once you get them all out and you just take those little tabs and you push them in and you can get this little you can get that out now the problem with this one which I've been finding with these is this little thermistor it's black, it looks like a capacitor, but it's actually a thermistor. And it's used as a, you know, it, it changes, changes resistance value. It's right here, it goes bad. They, they change resistance value. See that right there, that black tab right there. They go bad. Um, fuse is good, everything's good, it doesn't power up. But it senses a lot of current and they overheat and they, they damage. You'll need to, to get your, um, you know, you have to have some kind of soldering iron. Some kind of solder. You need some solder wick. Or whatever way you want to remove that component. Uh, it's a little something to grab onto it, to the, the part. I got some little tools there. Get some solder, put your new part in. So 
So um, let's get to it. What I like to do, I like to cut a little piece of that, the wick, the solder wick, and um, I got my solder iron ready. And I, you go ahead and just you know just use that and removes all the solder. You gotta be careful, you know, just to identify where the part is, where the thermistor is. And you grab your, uh, grab your tweeters on the other side once you get it, both leads unsoldered. And you just work it out there. It's hot, so just be careful. Yeah, so it's hot. Just be careful. Once you get it out, there it is when, it, when it's out. It needs to be right there. It was right there. You just pull it out. So I pulled it out. You can see where it's bad. Right there. Blew out. Right there, you can see it. You can find these on, you know, your... You can find them around. You gotta look around, and um, I got me one. You know they have different values. This is a 10 ohm, um, 20% tolerance. But at it, so you know you could just measure it with your meter. You measure it, and it, it, this one's open, but it should measure 10 ohms. And as it draws current, it changes value. So I got a brand new one here. It's same thing as yeah. just put it in and solder it up trim it up and solder it got it in there and there it is Okay, so just trim the leads, you know, trim them up. Uh, and uh, then you get some solder. I got, um, this solder has flux, flux in it. You know, right, uh, you just heat it up there, just solder it all up. Don't breathe that smoke, man. That's the, the, the fumes, it's not good for you, man. I just solder it up, I trimmed it up already. Lead base, and, you know, toxic stuff. Don't smell it. You want to get it all sided in there. One of the landings got lifted over here. There was landing right there, but I just soldered up, you know, real good. That's basically it with the soldering, man. And then you um take your board, and just you know get it, work it back in. power supply board just set you know little tabs you know go where they go just push it in Can be a little stubborn. You just push them back in. They kind of, it just slides back in. Once it pops in, just get your. Uh, you know, make sure you know you're getting them in there. You know they're numbered. You know you can see you know a little lip. You can only put them on one way. Just put them in there. Make sure you get it in there the right way. Um, get them in there like that. That one, that one. There's one back here. And uh, you had that one screw. You just get your screwdriver. Uh, just 
gotta be careful not you know you don't want to tear nothing up just you know tuck it down doesn't have to be you know excessively tight just good and tight you know nice and snug and tight and that, that that's it let's get back together plug it in and see what we did yeah, so you get it all back together, get your screws back in, you push it back in, and you can see now it just, you know, powers up. Powers up. Make sure your master volume is, is low. You connect, uh, connect your, you know, connect all kind of stuff, your microphones, you connect all, you know, all the different stuff up to it. And it's got different inputs. But, uh, just show you guys now you could just rock on with your with, with your new uh with your new thing. You could rock on with your new uh Another one from Fix It Man.